Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? You are the temple of God. Like he said, we're the Israelites. We're not like other nations. We are above all nations. Right. So we come out here to address the sin. That's what we out here for. We out here to show you no transgression. Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Like the soldier just brought out who was up here. We are a special people, the holy people, unto the Lord thy God. And the body that you possess does not belong to you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Any man defile the temple of God, that's through drugs, that's through alcohol. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Which temple ye are. Like he said, you are holy peoples unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. But as he left off, he said that the Lord requires something of us. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 But it shall come to pass It shall come to pass Meaning it didn't happen right then and there This is a future prophecy by Moses Read If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God If you not listen If you not listen If you not open your ears to what God is trying to it's Tell Moses to tell you Read To observe To do all his commandments And his statutes Which I command thee this day this day the Lord is commanding you this day. We want to show you that God is a black man. Christ is a black man. Give me that in Revelation first. 1 and 14. But God is not a man. He's not a man. We finna show you that God in Christ is a man. We want to show you that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Let's go. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Do you understand what the word revelation means? Reveal. That's the reveal. So you understand that. So he's going to show you something. So Christ is going to show John something. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. To the revealing of him. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. His servants. His servant was John. We are his servants. This was written so we may know what the story comes to pass. That we will also know that everybody would know how he looked. It's important in these days because all over the world you got this image that does not, it does not go with the Bible. Right. It does not go with the Bible. So this is why this was written. He knew this day was going to come, but we've got to bring it out to you and everybody that's walked the past how the Messiah looks. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White. You ever saw one of our grandparents with white hair? His hair was white wool, like yours, like mine, like this brother here. Woolly hair. You can literally Google that. Who have woolly hair? A pitch on the right gonna come up. Woolly hair. Read. As white as snow. White as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Eyes were as a flame of fire. You can read that in Genesis. You can read that in Genesis. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? You, you old um, school. I know you know brass. Brown. Uh... It's brown. It's brown. So first of all, he's telling you that he's brown. Am I right or wrong? You got that? You got that? First he's telling you that Christ is brown. This is what John is writing that Christ telling him to write it in the book. Read. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. His feet is like fine brass, but not just any brass. This brass looks like it's been burned in the furnace. Now, what color do you think that is if you burn it in the furnace? Huh? Yes. That's that right. It's dark. He real dark. You know what I'm saying? Like they say that African dark. He real dark. So that eliminates that picture you're looking at right here. Look at this picture. That's not him. So you might ask yourself, who is he? That's not him. This is more of a depiction of what we got from the Holy Scripture. Not telling you what I'm saying, but right. what the Bible is telling you he looks like. Read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. He spoke loud. That's why all the people came to him. He had to speak loud. A crowd of people around him. He spoke loud. You understand? Who on this earth is loud people? They say, man, y'all loud. Yeah, we loud. The other nations are not loud like us. That's, that's scripture. 
He spoke loud. You understand? It's okay to speak loud. People's got to hear you when you speak. You got to get your point across. Right. We're speaking loud because we're bringing out the word of God. Right. That's right. With boldness. Now, That's I'm going to show you another thing. Because you was concerned about the color of Christ. Now I'm going to go, and we're going to go, and we're going to show you the Messiah, and the, we're going to show you God in the book of Daniel. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. Read. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The throne, hold on. Now, let me ask you a question. You say, I beheld till the thrones was cast down. What that mean? Most of y'all don't know what that means when you say, I beheld till the thrones was cast down. But that's very important to know what that means. That's not something you can just walk over. I beheld till the thrones was cast down. What is a throne? Who sits on a throne? King. And so he's in rulership, right? Yeah. The king is in rulership because he sit on the throne, right? Listen, read. And the ancient of days did sit. Now the ancient of days. No beginning of time, no end of time. That's God. God did sit. But you say God was a man, but he said. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. And he had clothes on. So to have clothes on and sit, you got to have what? A body. Okay. Now, you following me? A body. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. He had a white garment on. Garment is cold. Read. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Hold on. Hold on. Now his hair is wool. This is God. We read about white hair being wool. Not his father. It's white like his hair. Like wool. Father like son. Read. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Like a chariot, like a ship, this is his throne. So we telling you that God has a body. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to show you and tie this in that we are the Israelites. Now we're to prove to you what color was Christ, so you shouldn't be looking at this no more. You shouldn't be looking at this, should nobody be praying to that no more. Read. Read. The book of Song of Solomon. Solomon, King David's son. Solomon. Read. Chapter 1, verse 5. Chapter 1, verse 5. The book of Solomon, which is Solomon, he wrote it. Read. Verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Verse 5. I am black. Stop. The olive color. I am black. He white. I am black. No, he read. I am black. Solomon say he's black. So if Solomon was black, what color was King David? King David was his father. Read. But comely. But comely. Comely means, for a woman, you would say comely is another word for beautiful. For a man, what's the opposite? What they'll say to a man, they'll say, oh, you very handsome. So he's saying, I look good. Read. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. The daughter telling the daughters of Jerusalem. Read. As the tents of Kedar. Kedar means dark skinned. Read. As the curtains of Solomon. As the curtains of Solomon. So we did already prove to you that the Israelites was black. And Christ was black. That's right. So that's who we come for. Let me get let me get that. Let me get that. God is a man of war. I'm going to show you God is a man of war. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man. He's not a woman. He's not a woman. The Lord is a man. Go ahead. The Lord is his name. The Lord is his name. The Lord is a man of war. God don't play no game. Everything that you see going on out here in these streets, that's because God pronounced it. He pronounced evil in the city. Right. God has pronounced that. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to come back to you. Now, you want to know who you are according to the scripture. So can I explain to you that you're an Israelite? Yes, sir. And your afflictions come from our disobedience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to show you that. Thy sons yes. and thy yes. daughters yes. shall be given unto another people. Whose sons and daughters was given to another people? Why was our sons and daughters given to another people? And when they was given to the people, what were they? Let me ask you something. You from the South, right? 
So when they took your great 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 grandparents' kids, what did they do with them when they took them out the house? They killed them. What? Say it again. They enslaved. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. They sold them off into slavery. That's one. Hold on. Let me ask this question. I'm going to get right with you. I'm going to be right there. Give me one moment. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. You saw that in the movie 12 Years of Slave. When they took her kids, she was mourning. She was trying to fight out them. There was nothing she could do. The slave master sold her. So all she could do was sit there and mourn. She didn't have no strength. Go ahead. Read. All the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. You will have no And there shall be no might in thy hand. There shall be nobody in thy hand. No. Now that's why I read on. We got birth. Go to the next verse. 34. Yeah, go to the next. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. That's what we have with each other. Did we have land? Yep. On that land, we grew our crops. So you got a few minutes to teach it here. Right? That's also for the Native Americans. Our brothers and sisters, the black Native Americans, hold on, we get right with you, sir. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Now, now check this out. We have land. He say the fruits of your labor sound another let another make it eat up. So when they took you out and hung you on the tree, who got the land now? to the Israelites. This is what Moses is telling the Israelites. That proves that you're Israelite. This only happens to us. We are the Israelites according to the scripture. You understand what I'm saying? God gave us commandments. We rebelled against God. We didn't want to keep them. You understand what I'm saying? We didn't want to keep them. So we're in this captivity. We're under these curses. You get what I'm saying? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. This is going to bring it home for each and every last one of you. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Now hold on. Before we even get that, how did we get over here? How did the blacks and uh, Native Americans get to Europe? And how did we get over here Slave to ship. America? Slave ships. Slave ships. We got to read. Exactly. Exactly. Verse 68. Exactly. And the Lord. for 400 years. It was two dark-skinned races. Not the same people, two dark-skinned races. They had us in slavery. We built some pyramids over there. In slavery. Read. With ships. With ships. He gonna bring us into bondage, into slavery again. Read. With ships. That's right. You looking at it. You pointing at it. That's how we came. Packed like sardines. Packed like sardines in a can. He brought us over here. On ships. You are by the way whereof I spake unto thee. By the way I'm saying it's going to happen. The way Moses is telling you that it's going to happen. This is how it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't going to see your homeland no more again. If I ask you not, what's the homeland? Anybody know what the homeland is? What's the you, Yeah, the homeland is in Africa. But what is it? What's the place? Let's get there. What's the place? What's the place? You don't know. You know the place? Do you know the place? You know the place? I'll finish show you. Read. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Read it loud. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the motherland. That's right. That's where we fled from. That's the land God. Go back to death. Now he brought us into slavery. Now we didn't go into Egypt. No! He was just a metaphor. This is Egypt here. We're in bondage right here in Babylon the Great America. Prophesied to be destroyed. We are here prophesied against this place. This is the place in Revelation that's going to be destroyed. This is the red dragon. 
This is the horn that set upon many waters. Bring this is the place. That's You're in Babylon the Great. Read it from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery. Read. With ships. With ships. The way we came. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Exactly how Moses said it was going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't going to see Jerusalem no more again. But what's going to happen when we get here? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. That's why you got last names on your enemies. Because you had to be awarded to the person that you were sold to. So you was their prophet. So you took on their last name or was branded on your arm that you belong to the Smith, the Johnsons, the Gordons, the Collins. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, a slave man, and bond women, a bond woman, a slave woman. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem you. That's what that word by me. Not Malcolm X, not the Brown Berets, not the Black Panthers. Nobody is going to get you out of here because Christ coming. That's the only place that's going to get you out of here. He said, I'm going to gather you on the four wheels. I'm going to come. Then I'm going to take you in your way. That is prophecy. That's why we can't be slaved by nobody else coming trying to get us out of this captivity. It's not going to work. You ain't getting no reparations and things like that. To scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.